with Small Business Saturday, and I'm going to be sharing life, the life notebook from Kelly Banks Creative today, and I'm going to link all of her stuff down below. So one thing I really loved about this notebook, it's basically a collection of categories and printables that you can print in A5 size, I think, or like letter size, and they come in a bundle. And so I chose the A5 bundle, and I'm, I simply printed them for my own printer, and now I'm going to put together a notebook inside a a six ring binder that I got from Michaels and you're going to see me see how all of this comes together. So this is basically a setup plus kind of a flip through as well. So in her bundle, there are different categories. There's like the calendar category, which is what I'm working on now. There's food, there's like personal. So I think there's one that's called me, there's um, house, there's travel. So lots of things you can think of that you probably wouldn't normally find in a bundle just at the store. Lots of times you have to buy these things all separately, which is one of the reasons I loved this notebook. I thought this would come in so handy and it's so versatile. So what you see me doing is I've printed all of these papers on, um, I think 32 pound paper and I'll leave that, I'll link that down below as well. And I'm actually going to laminate the titles and their tabs. So I'm actually adhering the tab before I laminate them. And the, what's nice about this is that everything color coordinates. So the icon and the color of the icon matches the title. And so it was pretty easy to put this together. Um, I'm simply going to go through and add the back of the tabs to each of the categories. And then after that, I'm going to stick them all through my laminator, including the type, the very front page, which is titled life notebook. And that's the one I'm starting with. I added a little bit of ephemera on the front just because I wanted something a little bit different and I wanted to cover up my phone number. I didn't think I really needed my phone number or my email, but I did put my name on here. Um, and so I am going to laminate every single title sheet with their t coordinating tabs that are already attached. And then the next step will be punching the holes. I will be using a six ring hole puncher, uh, same size as my A5. It actually is the same brand as the planner that I'm using. The planner I'm using is Recollections uh, from, I think it's Recollections. I know they're like little, Michael's planner line, planner collection is called something. It might be like creative year or something. Anyway, so I'm using the same, the one that coordinates. I'm using the planner and the hole punch. Both of those things were on clearance, so I'm not sure that I can still find them, but if I can, I'll link them down below. After I've laminated all of the title sheets and their tabs, which the reason I chose to laminate, la laminate those is because I, I can use those over and over again, whereas the inserts will be things you kind of use once and then you move on after the year or after the six months is over. In my case, I'm using six months. So I'm going to continue hole punching all of these and then I'm going to move on to hole punching the inserts as well. So all the things that go underneath these tabs, um, I just printed on the same type of paper, which is 32 pound paper, and it's kind of heavier than copy paper. Copy paper is about 20 pound. And I chose the heavier paper just in case I do a little bit of decorating or use some markers, that way it doesn't bleed through. So I have all of the titles, uh, the title pages and their tabs punched. And now I'm gonna move on to punching the inserts as well. Okay, so now that I have all of the inserts punched, I'm gonna go ahead and put the planner together. And then I'm gonna share with you a walkthrough of the planner um, in its slower form. So that way you guys will be able to see this a little bit more close up, but also just kind of, I'm gonna walk you through each of the pages so you'll know what's included in this life notebook. <music> Thank you. 
here I am with the, I wouldn't say finished because I'll probably, will, I probably will add some things um, into this notebook, but I have uh, my life notebook all set up and I'm super excited to kind of walk uh, through with y'all just kind of to share some of the pages. I haven't actually added um, any tasks or anything in here yet. Uh, I'm going to, I wanted to sh share it with y'all first and then I'll start sharing some of the pages that I create. So the first thing I want to talk about is, so I'm going to walk through the pages, but one of the things I've decided is I'll probably actually just um, take a few uh, sticker sheets out. So this isn't going to be like, I don't want to focus too much on like decorating it, although I will add some cute little elements here and there. So I figured like I could take a few sticker sheets out of each of these sticker books. These are per these are like perfect for small little areas and this A5 planner like has some small um, little boxes in terms of the calendar and uh, the to-do and the weekly at a glance or I'll get to it, but I can't remember exactly what it's called. So I figured it'd be nice to have like a few sticker sheets that um, I know that I will use like over and over again. And so I was just going to kind of go through here and, and find some things that, that are versatile. So these are from Hobby Lobby, by the way. Um, so I have a couple of sticker sheets here and I'll go through the rest later, but I think that's good for now on that one. And then for this one, I think it'd be fun to have some little like stripe or not stripe strip stickers there. And then actually I'll probably put them in here. And then let's see what else. This is nice because it has like errand, chores, AM, PM. Let's see. I like the circles. I wonder if I have one that has more on there now. Okay. Looks like I've used several of these. So that's good. Okay, so I'm also, and I think the colors will complement okay. Um, so I'll kind of, because these are muted, but they're really pretty. So I'll go through those. Also thought about um, keeping like a little notebook, just to like jot little things down here and there. Maybe something I'm not sure if I want to like put in my notebook, but something I think would be nice to just have with me. So I thought about keeping a notebook as well. And then I just added a couple cute little paper clips. So you'll see here on the side that I have a couple of little um, add-in packs or inserts that are like list and grid and budget. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to use them. So that's kind of why as I go through this, I'm going to decide... Is that something I want to add in? And this will be a fairly quick flip through. I don't want to, I don't want this video to be super long just because um, it is just sharing some blank pages with you, but it's really nice. So if beginning of this video, I showed you kind of the process of putting this together. I did laminate the main title pages and the dividers. So the dividers are all one. So now I added the dividers onto the paper and then laminated it afterwards. So it's really nice. It looks kind of like a finished look. So I'm going to start with the calendar here um, and we'll start with January. So I, I laminated both of those. So here is the January monthly glance or monthly look. Um, and then I think what I meant to say earlier was this week. And it's nice because you have different goals um, for the morning and the night, like get dressed, wash face, um, you know, begin laundry, check calendar, uh, some different things that you could do throughout the day or just some reminders. And then at night you have a list of things you could potentially that you that probably most people do, which is nice. So tidy up the house, wash dishes, make lunches. That's nice because I always forget about that. I don't forget to, get, to give my kids lunches, but that always like is like the last minute thing, if that makes sense. So it'd be nice to have that kind of more in like this task has to be done with the other ones. Um, check calendar, make to-do list, gather items, lay clothes out. That's nice to brush teeth, blah, blah, blah. So these are all the same, but it's nice because the dates down here are, um, it starts with January, obviously, and then you have a little note section. And this is just kind of to add some little um, to-dos or some plans that you have for the week. So it's kind of a different looking um, like layout than we're probably used to, which is nice. So I'll quickly go through these because these are just the same thing. They're just different dates here at the bottom. So it goes to February 6th, which honestly, this is 
it's good that I'm doing this flip through because I think since it basically starts with February, I need to, and there's one day in January there. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in February. And that was kind of my rule of thumb was just if it has more dates, uh, like if more dates outweigh in one month than the other, then it's going to go under that particular month. So for February, again, it's laminated. Here's the calendar, the monthly look, and then here's this week look. I'd also, I don't know if I mentioned this, has a shopping list here. So I'm going to go through this really quickly because those are the same. Same thing with March, April, May, and June. So I just did it to June for now just because... Um, I don't want more than six months in advance in my calendar just yet. If I decide I want to later, then then I can always print them. That's what's nice about these is I can print them and go with that. So here onto the money tab, and this is where I'd probably add in like my budget papers, but I have, there's quite a bit in here that will get me started. So this, so the other thing I should mention is that the, the icon at the top matches the icon and the color of the tab and the front of this so it's really easy to put this together um so like categorizing it it was kind of already done for you so auto home health life disability um this is just insurance so we would obviously have these four filled out which is nice um some of these things people ask me questions and I don't know. Like, I don't know the policy numbers of any of these things. That's pretty bad. So this is going to be really nice to have with me. Um, bills. So this will be nice to just kind of see, like, what are our monthly bills, the dates they come out. I write these down all the time. But honestly, I put them on notebook paper. And then that notebook paper somehow gets lost or thrown away. And then I'll do it again for the next month. So it'll be nice. And I do have it in my Google Calendar, but I don't have all of the different... I don't have all the details. So this says bill name, due date, amount date, amount paid, check number, and balance remaining. When uh, Kelly Bangs Creative like sh shared a picture and said, did y'all know I have a life notebook? I was kind of like, oh, I need to click on that just to kind of see what that's all about. And I love, I will say this over and over again, I love printables and I love things that you can print and keep printing. And so at home, and so um, I checked it out and I was like, this definitely is for me just because these are some things that are kind of annoying to look up over and over again. Um, so accounts, checking, savings, that's pretty self-explanatory. Then your debt, uh, credit cards, which we're dwindling down. I think we're down to two. One has very little on it and the other one is still has a good amount. So we need to work on that. But yeah, so the, and then obviously there's enough space for if you have multiple credit cards and you can print more of these if you need to. Um, so there's another account. I think I printed this twice and probably didn't really need to do that, but that's totally fine. Actually, I printed it more than that. <laughs> okay, so let's go through these really quickly so I can make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, so I printed those multiple times. And that's totally fine. For family, I don't have anything yet um, just because I didn't see anything right away that I just like had to print but I think it would, this could be a nice tab for like so this would be probably a good time to add in a couple of like my lists items um and so maybe keeping up with different things for the different kids I can have potentially and then maybe some fun things too like maybe I can document I'm gonna put some grid paper in here too because one of the thoughts I have is maybe to like document like words and different like things that they say um, especially because I'm going to try to keep this notebook in my purse. So on to travel. This is one of my favorite ones because we do go on a trip every year. And so um, we go to the same place pretty much every year. But I think it'll be nice to have some of these things we probably wouldn't need. Like we don't typically need a passport or anything like that. But it's it'll be good to have on hand whenever we're getting ready for that trip. Vacation memories, which again, I want to take this with me everywhere. So this will be great to have. I can jot down those um the memories, vacation ideas. So like lots of times when we go on our beach vacation, there are things I think of that I wish um, like we would have done or done differently. And so this would be a great place for that. Again, vacation memories, travel checklist. I obviously printed, reprinted these. I printed them over and over again, which is fine. I just have extras. Okay, so for to-do, this is nice because it's your yearly routine. So I think this would be a good space. And maybe there's another place for this somewhere else in this notebook, but I think this would be a good place for those things you have to do yearly, like um, your registration, your uh, inspection. Um, trying to think. Yeah, so it even says car tabs. 
um, fire alarm batteries. Those are, that's nice because we typically don't do that. Um, maybe renewals of electricity or a cable contract or something. Um, so you can be reminded. And then my, like my Amazon Prime gets renewed in one of these months. And honestly, it just surprises me. It just comes out of my account and I'm like, oh, I forgot we even paid that. And so this would be good to have that. Um, a daily routine. This is nice to have as well. And then just a little notes tab or notes section. And then under faith, this is great to have as well. I've, I haven't seen very many like, obviously there's planners with faith stuff in it, but I haven't seen notebooks like this where it like includes faith and I really love that. So it has a section for favorite verses. It has the acronym SOAP and it stands for scripture, observation, application, and prayer. So I think I should probably print multiple of these and maybe do these for like church on Sunday. That would be nice. Um, and then some really great, like, a really pl great place to document like your um, prayers that you've asked that you've asked for and that God has granted. So that's great. On the home section, here are the vehicles. So you have your like your the year, your make, model, VIN number, license plate. Which this would be great. Last night, my mom was asking me my license plate for when we go on our vacation, and I had to send my husband outside to get it. So. This would be, these, again, a great thing to have like with you in your purse, something that you carry with you pretty much all the time. Home maintenance, different things that you have, like it says heater, dishwasher, lawnmower, so different things that you um, either get fixed or that you have to keep up with. A project list, which this, is, this would have been great to have even before the last few weeks because we've done a lot around the house. But first thing going on this list is garage organization. Entertainment, um, so cell phone, cable, internet, and the other things that you have in your home that you pay for. Utilities, power, water, garbage, sewer, gas, propane. So for this one, I'm not 100% sure if I'm comfortable yet writing down my passwords. Um, so we'll maybe we'll get there. I don't do it in the best way right now. I actually just keep them um, in my phone. But I think at one point I downloaded like a password manager and I haven't used it yet. So I need to do that. But um, okay, so I don't have anything under miscellaneous yet. That'll be another great place to add in some notes or some little grid pages just for um, some extra things you might want to jot down. I don't have anything under events yet or contacts, which I do need to add addresses and phone numbers because we do send cards and stuff sometimes like Christmas cards or invitations. And I'm honestly always asking for addresses, so I need to jot those down. Under me, this is wish list, which I'm sure I could fill all of that up. And then what's bugging me? So just some little journaling spaces here, which is nice. Brainstorming also has a list for doodles. Um, food. So this is like more of your meal plan. And I actually probably, I may move this tab somewhere else because I think it would be nice to have more at the front because it will be something I probably use more often. But um Sunday through Saturday here. So breakfast, lunch, snacks, and dinner, which it's nice that it includes the snacks and then your shopping list. So this is great to have. Um, could uh, print multiple of these on like regular notebook paper and then go from there and be able to use it um, every week. So that'll be nice. Price tracker. So what you spend on different things. Um, I, I feel like snacks would be filled up pretty quickly and that's probably not a good thing. So that would be kind of nice to see what you do throughout the year and how much you spend on, on different uh, items from the store. And then what you have in your fridge, freezer, pantry. So that's just an inventory list, grocery list, recipes, and shopping list. So that's neat. So that is pretty much it. This is my life notebook. I am super excited to get started with this. Um, I think that this will serve a really great purpose just because of all the different options it has in here. Um, it was so easy to put together and um, I hope you guys will check out the website. I'll link everything down below and I'll try to share some pictures. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow my crafty Instagram um, because I'll try to share some pictures of some, um, at least on my stories of some of the pages that I create. Okay. Or that I complete, I guess I should say. I will talk to you guys soon. Y'all have a good night.